So when did Evan start pushing for you to move in together? Um, he's not pushing anything. Sorry, suggesting. It just came up in conversation. Over a bowl of muesli. Oh, where are you? Is everything all right, Mr. Keelan? Oh, fine and dandy, me. Really. Things still tricky with your mum and Don. I'm just leaving them to get on with it for the time being. Is that a good idea? Why would you turn her phone off? Gives them the chance to get to know each other better. I'm sure that they both want you to be part of that process. Look, it's not compulsory, you know, this embracing my long-lost brother stuff. I never said it was. I have every right to continue to see myself as an only child. Chloe, who put that idea in your head? No one. Rochelle. Have you been talking this through with Evan? Oh. What's the matter, Roger? It's my niece. She should be here by now. Well, maybe she's stuck in traffic or no, something? No, no, she's never late for anything. Visits, appointments. I'm sure she'll arrive soon. Yeah. How do you know? Right, well, well, we'll send her over as soon as she gets here, OK? Yeah, right, thank you. seem to have struck up quite a rapport. I hear that you're back on the floor. Well, you know, a couple of surgeons down, so needs must. I have dreaded norovirus. Well, if you need any help. I hope so, I won't, but thank you. Right, June, let's get you settled in. It's a bit mad, you moving out a few weeks after you just moved in. Is it? I'm sure you're ready for boring old domesticity. Nothing's boring with Evan. It's a better laugh for me and Nick. Would you give it a rest? Hey, I'm only saying because it's true. You've seen Roger Keelan's test results? Yeah. I talked to him myself, but I'm late for theatre. We can do it. Good. We need to keep on top of that list, or the rest of the week will be a nightmare. Oh, and be gentle with him. He's one of life's worry warts. Would you mind if I leave this one? Trying to impress the boss? No, we haven't all got our fancy research projects in the pipeline. Well, got a few bridges to cross yet. Any sign of your wife? No. We've, um, we've got your pre-op scan back. I'm afraid there has been a complication. Something's up. I'm sure of it. Your condition has deteriorated since we last saw you. What do you mean? The echo shows that you have much of our prolapse and severe regurgitation. Where does that leave me? You need a much of our replacement. It's more of a complex procedure. But we, we are confident of a positive outcome. So... It's more risky. Yes, but we um, we still hope to get you into theatre shortly. No chance. Sorry. Not until June shows up. What? But, but... This is a big decision. We don't want you to miss your slot. I need to know what she thinks first. We, we wouldn't be going down this route if we didn't consider it absolutely necessary. And I want to know that she's OK. Mr Keelan, if there was any better option... We're we a would... team. I can't go in for a big op that I may not survive without her say so. Doing some drawing. Yes. Can I see? Ah, the secret picture. Excellent. The school of secrecy was always my favourite artistic movement, you know. Sorry to bother you. That's all right. Hi, Oscar. So, uh, you just keep an eye on Rasmus Robot and I'll be back very soon. Mrs. Keelan's fully conscious. Right. Hello, Mrs. Keelan. My name's Henry Hanson. We have your blood test results, and they indicate anemia. Oh, I'll get that. You are dehydrated, which may explain why you're somewhat disorientated. 
Your chest x-ray shows an old shadow on the lung, so we'd like to run a few more tests. You understand what I'm saying? So I'll need a CT scan on chest, abdomen and pelvis. And if you need me, I'll be in the office. of all he surveys. It's funny, isn't it? He's it's, uh, it's here, but not here. No, he's here, all right. He's in here. And in here. Counts as passive stalking, right? What does? Gawping at a woman like a lovesick cocker spaniel. I'm not gawping. Mm. Hey, so what do you think about her moving in with Evan? What does she say about the croissants? You're defined by your choices. So you reckon it's a bad idea then? None of my business. Or do you just wish you were in his shoes? Don't be talking about. Mm. I believe you. Thousands wouldn't. This was a mistake. It's churning up so many feelings. It's bound to. You should go. I don't want to waste any more of your time. need it. 